What's going on? This is Robert Lee, Robert Lee Aquatics. I want to show y'all how. You know, as y'all know, I got I got three E-Hines, 2262. That's what I'm going to be filtering my 300 with. So I want to show y'all how I set them up. You know, you know, as you do this, you learn, things change, you know. I want to show y'all my hip first. That's Kayla right there. Kayla. That's Kayla right there. That's my girl. And this is my boy right here, Kenny. They always do the help. So this is how we set it up. This right here is my Ehime mat at the bottom right there, which is right here. I think there's one liter right here. So I put like two of these up in here. This helps disperse the water, shoot it all kind of different directions. And then from there, we up under there, I got the green screen. So let's not forget that you got the green Latisse or Latisse, Latisse, however they say it. You got that screen up under there. And then from there, I put my Ehime mic, what I just showed you right there. So that goes there. And then next, I put my, uh, I got ProRit, ProRit's, Swiss Tropical ProRit uh, filters or uh, pads. You know what I'm saying? I put my ProRit in. It's the two inch one. Now I'm gonna give y'all a little tip on these pads. If you, if you ever buy them and you wanna cut the pads, the best thing to do is don't measure it against the, the filter right there. Measure it up against the top. Put the top, mark it out around the top, and cut it from there. So what I do, I just lay it up on, lay the top on top of it, and I give it a razor blade, and I go around the outside the top, and then I make my cuts from there. So that's the ten right there, and then I have the uh, the next layer is a two inch also, it's a twenty. So that's a ten ppi, and I think it's twenty ppi. I think that's the correct way to go right there, and then from there. I go with my filter floss. Now, this is the filter floss right here, but this ain't the regular Walmart poly bag filter floss. So y'all tell me, you know, as I told y'all, you know, you been this do this hobby long enough, you start to learn. And I was doing some research and I came across this filter floss right here. It's a Cera filter wool. So this is my first time trying it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So if anybody out there ever used it, tell me what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, it's worth a shot. They say it's uh, like re reusable, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's so much up in there, I don't really think I'm gonna have to reuse it. It'll last for a while until I get down to the end. And then from there, I used my Ehime Substrate Pro, which is right here. So this is a, uh, uh, I know I use this, it's a five liter bucket, five liter bucket. So I put five liters of that up in there. And then from on top of that, I put my screen and that's it. That's how she gonna roll just like that. If you can see, she ain't all the way filled up. I got a little room, I put my top on so she can rise a little bit. I do have some piercing, but I'm not gonna put it in this one, I'm gonna put it in the other one. And other than that, I got the other two. I'm gonna clean one of them out and I'm gonna put the period in one of those. But like I was telling you about the, uh, the Swiss Tropical, the Pore foam, I set it down and I set this top on top of it and I, and I cut around with my razor blade and I make a circle around the outside of it like that. And then I go through with the scissors and I trim it up. And that way I get a snug fit. Cause I did it before and I try to do it to this and it came out kind of small. Uh, just better that way. I'm just telling you from experience on that right there. But I just wanted to share y'all. This is how I set up my canister filter. And this is how I'll be setting up all three of them. And I already got two rolling. And then one right there. Can't even hear it. Glad to hear it. And as y'all know, if you look on the side, I got my gel pad right there for the stop with that uh, vibration. Actually, I think I put two on here. Yeah, I did put two. So I ordered some more. So I got two of them on there. And that's how it's gonna be going. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. This is my Ehime. This is the third one for the 300 gallon bill. Ehime 2262, I love them. And I can't see myself uh, using no other canister filter but these. Thank y'all, appreciate y'all. 
I'll be sharing some more videos as I make them. Thank you.